boost the elements. But a lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. If that's true, I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. Going down! Got it! You're mine! Now we get the data from the drone. Camping gear. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. I was Adam. I was so close. Drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life, or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appeared. Yeah, okay, um... Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. Mm -hmm. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Hey, Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. 
You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... <laughs> well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? Don't mind him. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow in my old Graham's footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy to... Uh, right. Again. What happened? At the bottom, we beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games and coins and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abaddund, he, well, Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far, and the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. About the delve. <sighs> Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage. Whatever you find below is yours. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh... The incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours.
there's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? There's a very special salvage I want down there. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. I'm going to make this go quick.
vehicle flooding detected. Automatic drainage controls offline. To execute an emergency purge, manual reset of primary and secondary pump nodes is required. The purge can then be triggered at the pump maintenance station. If I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. from here. I know something I can climb to get out. shut down now. I think the last time I was down here was during the Lumia Grand incident. A malfunction led to an overflow of detergent in the pipes. Suds rose from every fountain. As we frantically tried to fix it, I looked up and saw everyone in the lobby chasing bubbles the size of basketballs, young and old alike. Another magical moment. Stanley Chen. What did he do here? There. One node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. 
I'm gonna live to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains had been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first bloom arced up in the dome, the music swelling, my heart soared right along with the domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. I won't budge. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Taking care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. I found earlier. That might be the maintenance station. But how to get in? It looks like part of this building collapsed. Be a way in. Okay, let's see where this leads. I'm gonna get a merchant will trade for this. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Be a console in here. System shutdown is almost done. The only thing left is to power everything down at the control center. So, I guess this is it. One final walk down the strip, and then it slides out forever. There. At least I won't be around to see it destroyed. machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Beside that. At least the purge didn't get rid of all of the water.
Whoever's left these machines behind. Could sneak by them. Deal with a big one first. There's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Okay, then. Stay up here, and start firing when I engage.
Come on, gentlemen, get a move on. You guys all right? More than all right. This... you... we did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little revenue. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, is she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Call her if you need us. Thanks. Somewhere beyond this door. should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. There. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Bring this back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon trigger to restart the city's power system. Crew must have headed back up top. Probably not just like a carry, but. Oh, 
old city. That? How much did all this cost? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, show my old Gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized. His old Gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. C come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages, all thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that Osram camp first, see if Talana made it. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. painted their faces with something called makeup. Welcome back, Aloy. I see you have recovered Poseidon. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Got it. Okay, data modules in.
Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac! Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda, you saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! Okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then.
What's wrong? I'm trying, Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. <laughs> 